Hey everybody, welcome to Project One Gaming. My name is Will, and I'm here with a very special guest, my son. Dominic. Dominic. Now, Dom has been on this channel before, but it's been about two years or so, um, and we talked about doing Warhammer 40k back then. Now, 40k is a little, uh, a little advanced for someone younger. Now, I'm not saying you can't do it. We're going to slowly get into it, right? Yeah, baby steps. Baby steps. But, in the meantime... We've uh, selected a few different games that we're going to give a shot that, um, as a, I, I don't think I'm the best war gamer in the world, but I, I've dabbled in a few different games, and I've picked a few that are very simplistic that can help get us um, further into the world of tabletop gaming. And, more importantly, I think all hobby mothers and fathers right now, hobby parents, um, this is the best time to try to get your, your kids or your, um, your kid into tabletop wargaming because with uh, coronavirus kind of changing the world um you know dom has to do uh home school. home school like remote and things like that so gone are the days of art class and things like that so i think it's very important um that we can use this as a bridge to help them um you know channel their artistic ways of doing things right mm -hmm. so we're gonna teach dom how to uh, use the airbrush yep and paint different miniatures. Now the game, before we get into our main game that we're to play, um, the game that Dom's gonna learn how to uh, paint with is... Power Rangers. Power Rangers Heroes of the Grid. Now I have a ton of models coming from the Kickstarter and everything like that. Um, we have a bunch of them already unboxed back there. Uh, this was one of our Kickstarter exclusives that we got for it the gold. one of our favorite characters. Dom loves the Gold Ranger. So we're both huge Power Ranger fans. So the miniatures are much bigger compared to games like uh, Warhammer 40K and such. So I think it'll be a, a better uh, stepping block for him to learn how to paint. And then we'll just keep it going from there. The other one that we talked about was Star Wars Legion because Daddy's into Star Wars Legion. So um, we're going to look into that. We're going to try to pick a faction. Daddy likes uh, the clones. And Dom is a fan of General Grievous. So it might, yeah. it might all pan out pretty well so uh, without further ado Dom what game do we pick to play we picked crisis protocol Marvel crisis protocol so we're gonna kind of do a little bit of an unboxing here or uh, more or less a uh, to show it to off. show it off what, everything we got so what better place to start than with the core set so in the core set we got dr. octopus uh -huh. Captain Marvel yep. September 28th. Day Ultron. Ultron. Yep. Spider Man. Crossbones. Red Skull. Red Skull. Black Widow. Zemo. Zemo and Iron Man and Captain America. Right. So a fun thing that we're gonna do that I didn't tell Dom is um, we are going to show Dom a few different versions of each character before I paint them. And then he's gonna pick whichever version he wants. So like Iron Man has a bunch of different suits. Captain America has a bunch of different suits. Spider-Man, a bunch of different suits. So on and so on and so on. Yeah. So that'll be fun. Certain characters, you know, are staple and they have to be what they are. Um, we'll have fun with it. So sticking with the uh, the Avengers, let's um, let's show off this this set. Who is? Black Panther and Killmonger. Black Panther and Killmonger. Now, the Black Panther series, if you want to call it that, because it seems like every group kind of comes out together. Um, so we do not have, there's very few models that we don't have. One of the ones that we don't have is um, Shuri and Okoye. That's Black Panther's sister and bodyguard. Um, so out of the Black Panther group, we don't have that one yet. That's coming. So long as someone does good in school. Yeah. Right. Okay. So that's to the next. That's an Avenger. Our other Avenger is Hulk. The Hulk. Now, uh, our first like go at the video, we started unboxing everything, but it's all pretty much the same old thing. You yeah. want to open up the Hulk just so they can see one yeah. miniature and like kind of like what comes with all the set. We're very new to this game, yeah. um, so we don't fully understand how it, it works, um, but we'll be learning. Yeah. So there. He has his the card that shows how to build him. Okay. He has his minis, which are the building 
processing. His punch card, which is like what he does when he's not injured and when he is injured. And the little... Um, tokens? Tokens, yes. Yeah, so each character has certain tokens associated with them. Um, they have their stat cards that tell us how they can move, how fast they move, how much health they have, and so on and so on, and, and the attacks and stuff that they can do. Okay? Okay. So our next Avengers are... Vision and Winter Soldier Bucky. That's right. That's right. I'm excited about this one, actually. Yeah. I, I love the Winter Soldier. Yeah, me a lot. too. And Vision looks... That's a pretty cool sculpt on Vision. Yeah. Sure. Um, I used to play the old... Avenger game at Aunt Boys. Uh huh. And I was Captain America and I was in like a train track and I was fighting Bucky. Nice. Yep, that happens. Um, also, we'll note that we are missing one of the Avengers and that's Hawkeye, who also comes with Black Widow. That's like the one model set that I don't fully understand because Black Widow's already in the starter set. But hey. Is what it is, right? So the next Avenger is... Thor and Valkyrie. Thor and Valkyrie. Um, so this is going to be the bridge into um, the next set that we have that are not Avengers, per se, but they have to do with the, the Asgard group. Yeah. That's... This is Loki and Hela. Whatever. That's uh, Thor's sister. So brother and sister. See how that works? Yeah. I know that Loki. I think <laughs> Loki was um, the brother. brother. Yeah. All right. So I think the next group we'll go into is the since Spider-Man is in the yes. the main set, we will go into the Spider Spider Friends Spider. Verse. I'm yes, not really right? sure what they call this group. So this we'll is start one of with my favorite characters. Spider Man and Ghost Spider. So who do we know them as from the movie? Miles Morales. And who's the who's the girl? Spider Gwen? Yeah, Spider Gwen. <laughs> That's such Glanda? a good movie. It's Glanda. <laughs> Glanda. <laughs> That's funny. Yes, such a good movie. We love it. We still watch it. Can't get enough of it. All right. Well, there's those two. Uh, five, stars five stars for that movie. Next is... Green Goblin. Green Goblin. Daddy's super excited about this one, not going to lie. I like how he's flying on his surfboard. And I'm, I'm very much debating on um, painting him to look like the Hobgoblin, who is my favorite. So he's more of orange and blue. No, it would be cool if they added... Tell me. Silver Surfer. Silver Surfer would be awesome. We'll talk about that later. Some yeah, other that's cool. One of our favorite characters. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And you like him because he's important right now too, right? Yeah. yeah. All right. And then the last for the Spider Verse yeah. is one of Daddy's favorite characters ever. Venom. Venom. We are Venom. I'm excited about this. Yeah, for not, sure. We're gonna have a Spider-Man va battle. Spider-Man battle. Cool. Yeah, I'm gonna be. Hero team I'm gonna be the bad guys. Yeah. I can do that. I can do that. Um, why don't we come over to this group? What group is that? You're gonna tell me what group this is. Oh, this is our favorite group. We have a lot of favorites, if you yes, can tell. Yes, we have lots and tons. Love Marvel. Who do we and, got? And this is one of Daddy's favorite superheroes, Star Lord. I do like Star Lord a lot. What group is this? This is Guardians of the Galaxy. Group. Bingo! So we got Guardians of the Galaxy up next. We'll save that one for last. Yes. The next one. This one is Drax. No. Oh, Ronan the Accuser. Yes, Drax and Ronan the Accuser. Show them the other side. And that one. There you go. So Ronan the Accuser was the bad guy in the first Guardians of the Galaxy movie. We're going to we're gonna have to have a Marvel day. Yeah. We're just going to watch all the movies. Yeah. Sound good? Yeah. All right. We already watched Deadpool. We did watch Deadpool. That, that was amazing. 
This is the Mora Nebula. Alright, show me the other side, bud. There you go. I, I, you gotta read, you know, it is what it is. No big deal. So then, last but not, certainly, certainly not, not least. least, for Dom's favorite guardians. And this is what we call me and my dad. Okay. Groot and Rocket. Rocket and Groot. And technically my dad is going to be Groot and I'm Rocket. That's Makes fair. sense. That'd be a cool Halloween idea. Yeah. I think we should do it. You should be a giant tree and I'll be like a pirate too. I, I like it. And then get on your back and just like, like twig your tree or I will shoot you. <laughs> All right. Can you see that? Now for our last group for now. Let's start with... I guess it doesn't matter. It's Corvus, Glaive, and uh, Proxima Midnight. I don't know any of that. So turn it around. So these are the guys that were... Um, they were in Endgame. I think they showed up actually in um, Infinity War. They're kind of like the, the four guys that show up with Thanos. Oh, yeah. That try to beat everybody up. Oh yeah, I remember these guys. They just look a little bit different. And then over here is uh, Black Dwarf and Ebony Maw. So these are the guys that, um, if you remember in the movie... That... I remember this guy. Mm -hmm. but this remember guy... he? they were fighting in the, the streets with um, Iron Man? And uh, oh, Doctor yeah. Strange. Yeah, Doctor Excuse Strange. Me. And then Spider-Man showed up. Like, Doctor Strange like put him in like a sort of like a bifrost thing, and then like shut him in his arm. Like that's who it is. Yep. And he cut off his arm. That's that big guy. That is, that, is that his new arm? It might be. Probably. Well, these are oh, what they look like. He already has his arms. You know. Yeah, that's pre pre getting cut off yeah. by Doctor Strange, and then yeah. out of this group, the Big Mac Daddy of them all. Last but certainly not least, Thanos. We got Thanos. This thing is actually really heavy. <laughs> it's it's pretty big. <laughs> he has his throne. It comes does. It, it comes with um, him it's... as a miniature and then um, him with his throne. Let me see. Listen how loud it is on the mic. Pretty loud. There's a lot, a lot of pieces in and there. And I barely even shook it. And I like how it shows that it comes with... Um, his gauntlet? It comes with a... a He's smiling with his gauntlet and then without his gauntlet, but he's still holding up his fist, letting everybody know that I'm, I'm here to fight. So, that's it for what we have right now. On the way right now, because um, they just released, we have uh, Doctor Strange and Wong, um, Ant Man and the Wasp. And then that one's yes. cool because it comes with four miniatures, so like two normal size and, and then the mini. Two, like, like they shrink down. And I almost wonder if they're going to come out with like a big version of it. Oh, that would be cool. That would be pretty sweet, right? And then the last one is Ghost Rider. Yeah, Ghost, Ghost Rider. Rider coming in. And then um, the following wave, if Dom does good in school, because come mid-October, Taskmaster's coming out with a Punisher. Um, and then that's where we're going to get... Uh, we, the other one that we don't have that's already out is MODOK. Um, so there's MODOK, the Black Panther set, the Hawkeye set. That we're looking at and then um taskmaster and punisher uh kingpin and then daredevil and bullseye and i believe uh she hulk is coming yeah, out too so and then come uh, christmas time will be the x-men which we're pretty pumped for yeah. um so we'll talk about all of that when it comes out um so dom I was Ooh. just going to ask you a question. Okay, you ask me a question. What do you got? So, do you want to talk about what we want to come into the game? Like, I think that'd be fun. Yeah. You want to do that? Who, you want to go first? Uh, I, I need to think of something because okay. I don't got anything. All right. Nice. Right off the top of my head, I think it would be... Now, not, not I'm not a huge Fantastic Four fan. And that's just because I didn't really read the comics as much as I did the other ones. But I think it would be really cool to see the Fantastic Four because if the Fantastic Four came, that means Doctor Doom would come. Now I'm a, I'm a huge uh, Doctor Doom fan as well. Yeah. So that would be pretty sweet. What do you got? I was thinking about from the four set. I was wanting. Um, I forgot his name. The the thing. From from Thor. 
remember, but he was called the Thing. Oh, he's from Fantastic Four, the orange yeah, guy? The big orange mm -hmm. guy. Thing, yep. So it would be like him, uh, Johnny Storm, or the Human Torch. The guy that's all fire. Oh, yeah. Um, he was in Deadpool, right? Wasn't that him? No, that was someone different. Yeah, but he was like him because he, he had like, like the, the fire. fire. Right. Um, <laughs> Uh, I think another cool character, um, obviously with the X-Men, I would love to see my favorite two X-Men, uh, Gambit and Colossus. I think it would be really cool to have, uh, Colossus be like a beefy boy, like the Hulk, you know what I mean, like a big model, that'd be sweet. Yeah, I forgot what I was gonna say, I was gonna say, like, something, yeah, we, we're hoping that Deadpool comes out. That would be pretty cool. Um, like masked, and then there's one that's unmasked. Unmasked, yep. And you could paint him all sorts of ways too. You could do X, the X Men. The X Men version where he's in like the blue and yellows, but his mask is still red. Yeah, and like the white version. The X Force version would be cool, and they could release X Force characters like Cable, who I love Cable. Yeah. A lot. Um, you know, you mentioned a really good one earlier. Um, a certain kind of Iron Man. Do you remember? The Hulkbuster. The Hulkbuster. How cool, how cool would it, again, to have a big model like the Hulk here as the Hulkbuster. That'd be pretty sweet. Yeah. I and, would like to see us, like, make that with, like, the Hulk in there and then the Hulkbuster, like, fighting Thanos. I can, I can already picture that in my mind. The Hulk and Hulkbuster fighting Thanos. That'd be pretty epic. Um, and my, la my last idea, sticking with um, Iron Man, I think it'd be really cool to see um, War Machine come out. He'd be pretty cool. He's the one that's in black and silver and he's got the big Gatling gun on his shoulder. Oh, yeah. yeah. So I think that'd be pretty cool. That different kind of Iron Man? Yeah. Now, this game can go... Wasn't that like one of your favorite kind of Iron Mans? Yes. Um, he, again, we, growing up with these comics, I have a lot of favorite guys, so it's really hard to say who's my favorite. But my all-time favorite character in Marvel is Taskmaster and he's finally getting so much attention in the world I just want to take a moment to say that he's gonna be in the Black Widow movie he's got a miniature coming out if he comes out in Fortnite you're you're a hundred percent gonna like all over it and I'll never change my skin ever again <laughs> Taskmaster forever just like Cable yeah I'm pretty much Cable all the time cool. so that's it for this video yeah. uh, the next video we'll do um, I think we'll talk about Power Rangers a little more yeah. We'll show off some of the models that we have and some of the ideas we got for painting. And then um, Dom is definitely going to be on the channel more uh, more often. And we're going to show him uh, how to paint. And like I said, we're also going to start learning how to play uh, Crisis Protocol. And um, Yeah, and I'm going to make some like gaming videos of me mm -hmm. down here, right? Sure. And maybe if I can, I'll try to make some drawing videos of me drawing. Works for me. Like I said... To the parents watching, this is the time to really help uh, your kids express, um, you know, their artistic visions, um, and even if it's just through social media and YouTube and things like that, like let let their imaginations go wild. So is that it for today? Yeah. So I think that's it for today. Um, until our next video, when we talk about everything else that's going on, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, thanks for tuning in, everybody. Again, I'm uh, Project One Will. Project One Dom. And we're... Double D. Double D. We'll see you guys next time. Take care.